Hello folks, in this video we're talking about why hospitals are being targeted by the Ryuk ransomware, what tricks they are using to pull this off, and what their motivations might be. So sit back, relax, here comes the facts. Hacking group is targeting US hospitals with Ryuk ransomware. Ryuk ransomware is being spread to hospitals through targeted spear phishing emails that infect systems with the Bazaar Loader malware. This emotet-like malware deploys the Cobalt Strike penetration testing platform, which gives attackers greater eyes into network configurations and vulnerabilities. This group has also been observed using the zero logon vulnerability in their attacks. This exploit allows an attacker to compromise a domain controller server within seconds, making lateral infection of corporate endpoints very easy once the bad guy has network-wide administrative rights. All this increased capability makes the next stage of attack very easy, launching Ryuk ransomware. According to various law enforcement agencies, attacks are increasing against healthcare organizations. Quote, CISA, FBI, and HHS have credible information of an increase in imminent cybercrime threat to U.S. hospitals and healthcare providers. CISA, FBI, and HHS are sharing this information to provide warning to healthcare providers to ensure that they take timely and reasonable precautions to protect their networks from these threats. The pandemic has brought with it a new era of cybercrime that utilizes greater sophistication and hits targets harder than we've ever seen before. As far as reasons to hit a hospital, if the attackers are looking for notoriety, this might be a good approach as any ransomware attack on a hospital, especially if it disrupts operations or indirectly leads to a death, will seriously increase the street cred of these criminals. But it would also be a good way to get more heat on your back. This might just be attackers taking advantage of a situation. Hospitals that cannot operate during a pandemic are in a very bad position and may be more inclined to pay quickly. We may see a shift in attacks, away from extortion and data leaks, and more toward disruption of operations, like what we've seen from a DDoS attack, but far more effective and powerful. At the same time, ransomware attacks have been increasing more in the second half of 2020 than the first half, according to a report by Checkpoint. The United States has seen nearly a 100% increase in ransomware attacks in Q3 compared to Q2. Overall, this makes for an alarming trend of targeted ransomware attacks that utilize high sophistication and professional tools for attack. We need to all be on our guard right now because it's only going to get worse. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.